Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. More and more mercenary units have been arriving in system. We've been trying to keep a close eye on them, monitoring who's here and what kind of unit strengths they have. Our intelligence has led us to believe that there's a clan mercenary unit operating off of Astrakhazi 6. We're sending the first static defense force in there to capture their base and hopefully grab all their supplies. Okay, so this is a two and a half capture base against the clans. Uh, who do we got up here? Kit Fox, probably? Looks like it. Don't know what that is. So, um, yeah, we're going to move up here. So, I managed to get a bunch of things updated, and I'll tell you as we go along here. Um, yes, I hear so, you. Turnaround's mech is still the same. Still the same fast uh, urban mech. Happen. Nothing has changed on her mech. Pair of larges, small magna, two mine dispenser 15s, and a mortar bolt on mortar 5. Uh, I think she's fine there. And then we've got a new pilot parrot. We managed to hire this guy. And we got the, the Urban Mech 2C and the other R59 Urban Mech that, that we lost the mortar six or sorry, mortar eight off of. Uh, repaired. I pulled off a couple of missions off off screen or offline playthroughs. And in one mission I actually picked up two clan mortar sixes. So I was able to outfit both of those with mortars and um, give them some a, a, like ability to move relatively quickly. So we can bring the mortars up to the front. Uh, one of them has an ER uh, medium laser and some bolt-on rockets with a laser AMS. And the second one no has got an ER large laser uh, as well as the mortar uh, and an AMS Mark II. So now we've got two AMS Marks II, Mark IIs. Standing by. So here's the second one here. A couple of bolt-on tandem rockets, mortar six, ER large. We're lacking the um, the mine dispensers on this one, but it does have the advanced AMS. So, um, oh, it's the advanced, it's not the Mark II, it's the advanced one. All right, that's right. I forgot I put Copy that advanced that. one on this guy. So we don't need to have it on overload. We can just leave it on and it should protect everybody. And brace. So now we've got two AMSs that can protect the whole unit. I don't have a lot of ammo for that one. It's only got uh, 200 shots. So, and then of course we've got our R69 here with the pair of uh, Clan LRM 20s on it, with Thunder, Standard, Tandem, and LK ammo. Don't have a lot of each, but it's enough. We got three turns of firing Thunder ammo, which is good. And then we've got our our slow ass R59 with the mortar Run eight. Way. Double time. I'm slowly updating all of the mechs to Clan Come XL on. engines. Slowly. Not everybody's quite. Not everybody's there yet. But so we've got seven urban mechs and we got the Hollander. I left the Clint behind. It's the artillery Clint. Um, Eventually, this I'm Hollander there. will disappear too. Well, well, I'll probably I'll probably hold on to it for like larger scale missions where I need something a little heavier. But um, like I said, I want to try and run with eight urban mechs. I await your command. So eventually, that one will be staying away. Let's put you on overload. Primitive. I don't know if we're gonna get any turrets up here. Let's hope they're not art artillery turrets because we're too bunched up. If there is, looks like there is. There's the towers for the yes, turrets commander. anyway. Alright, we've got our Ultra 5. Move up here. Pair of mine dispenser 15s. So we've got... Um, I picked up a couple of uh, Ultra 5s too in um, the offline playthrough. So we've got some backup weapons. I've been trying to grab backup weapons as I've been going along. So those guys were... Uh, I can't see them now. Ready for orders. So I got I think I've got a clan ER backup, a, a large, and I've got a couple of ER medium backups. I've been trying to just like accumulate a few here or there, so if we do get um It's a vehicle moving. If we do get hit, hopefully that uh we'll be able to mitigate any damage. Okay, now we got uh 
freedom to move for a turn here. So I'm going to push this. Because I want to get in, find out everybody that's there. Hunchback 2C, that's bad. That's really bad. Okay, um... Where are we setting up the artillery? Behind the hill, probably, here. Moving out. Okay, um... Your artillery, behind the hill. You can actually move in, because you can do damage aye with aye. the mortar and... the, uh, ER large. Right now, those guys are kind of hybrid. We want to get you up here. Copy that, Commander. Uh, mortar sixes. These mechs are kind of hybrids. Um, they can close in. We don't have any fast cam on these guys. But I do have like Inferno, Airburst, Flare, and uh, regular ammo. And I've got guided ammo on one of them too. So can I actually... I guess I can't shoot. Get behind the hill here. On the move. Um, let's move you in this side. So I might try and get you up a little closer too. Okay, here we go. Uh, is it only one Lancer? It's two. Probably just the one, it looks like. Once we scout the, uh, the base, another one will probably show up. Ready to rock. Um. Let's push this way and try to get that hill between us and that hunchback. Okay, there's the adder. Or Kit Fox, sorry. I don't think we're going to get mine dispensers out this turn. Tell me what you need. Let's get in here. On the move. So I've been selling off most of the mech parts I get. What do we got over here? A thorn. Most of the mech parts I get. I, I've been getting clan parts. I've been trying to assemble like clan mechs and then sell them. Like assemble them, sell them. So hopefully get some half decent parts. 21%. I should probably start on the bandit. Start getting some damage on this guy. It's got a fair bit of armor, so... But yeah, I've been trying to put them together, and then... Um, shit, we need an AMS back here, too. You have to be up front. Because of range. Where's our second what can I do for you? AMS? This is the laser AMS. You can get up here. I'm going to drop some mortar rounds on the, uh, the bandit again. Was it, it was the C that we dropped them on, right? Oh, they're both Cs. Doesn't matter. Uh, it was the other guy. Let's try and keep it on the same guy if we can. There we go. So we got flare on this one. Guided. Inferno. And standard ammo, as well as the airburst. Uh, let's go with. Let's just drop some standard rounds on this guy for now. Commander. Um. Do we start with the thunder, or we wait till they're. Let's go with standard, and can we hit the bandit? We can. Let's just fire on that guy. Copy that. We're just a, kind of the reach of our range right now. The problem with these mine dispensers too is I think they've got like a 540 meter range, which puts us dangerously close to uh, being attacked by that hunchback. So we gotta be careful here. By. Okay, you got a minefield, but we're not going with that. We'll just drop. Got guided, airburst, acid, fast gam. Let's go with the guided for now. Copy that. Keep applying some damage. Now this AMS has got a really wide range, so we can move up a little bit here. On it. We'll just keep moving out those guys forward. 
Let's go standard ammo for now. I copy. So the Hushback 2C, I'm going to try and pull down. I'd like to get an Ultra 20 off that thing. That'd be really nice. The Kit Fox and the Thorn have got... Uh, uh, I know the Kit Fox got the Clan XL. I'm not sure if the Thorn does. Order. Not 100% sure on that. We need to get you up here fast, fast, fast. Get those mine dispensers. The 15s are really, really nice. A pair of 15s alone can do like a, a fair bit of damage to a light mech. I've had instances where they've stripped like 70 armor in one shot. Okay, get you up ahead. And just drop the rounds on the... Ah, uh, no, let's just... Hold off for now. I'll be putting some flares on these guys shortly anyway, so... Alright, Skippy, keep moving forward. Let's move. Stay within those AMS range. And since we haven't laid any mines, we can drop high explosive. Uh, let's warlord this, why not? Give us a little better chance to hit this guy. Firing on target. Waste of a warlord, whatever. Miss. No biggie. Yeah, so with these guys, I'm still my attention. trying to figure out the best. All right, let's get the minefield Location started. Confirmed. The best um, difficulty to play in. I've been mostly been doing half and one skull missions just to get stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, you got the two ultra twenties. So we're gonna drop. Two mine dispensers. I know you may think I'm crazy for not shooting the lasers. SRMs are out. Orders. But there is a method to my madness, and you'll find out shortly. Okay. So we're gonna go with. Dropped a flare on this guy? I think so. Actually, are we in sensor lock range for this guy? I don't think. Oh, he hasn't moved yet. There's no point. That's a waste of a sensor lock. Let's go with the flare on him. Engaging with target. Okay, we got a little bit on the hunchback too, which is nice. Skipper. Okay, get into here. Acknowledge, Commander. I think we're just outside of this hunchback's range. And firing. Let's hope if they get reinforcements, those reinforcements come from this direction. My SRMs are out. Waiting on you, Commander. But if they don't, we can deal with it. We can deal with it. Okay. Get you up here. Get both of these going. Get the flares on him now. That way, once we take his legs off, hopefully it's still a little little easier to see him. How far are you moving? Ooh, it's bad, bad times for you. So we've only laid two 15s and four 10s down so far. Barely scratched my armor. And we did... Okay, maybe like 25 points to this guy's legs. He didn't move very far though, and, I, and he wasn't moving through the main oh, yeah. concentration, so... Okay, sprint down here. Switching to fast cam. Now we really start to saturate this guy. I cop. So I got the LRM-40 and a pair of 15s to go. Nope, that's exactly what I want. I gotta sprint this. Less missiles that actually hit the mech, the more missiles that actually hit the ground. So we're better off uh, having a worse chance to hit. 
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and attack the ground. Right here, and confirm that. Who would have ever thought I would have an LRM-40 Urban Mech? Okay, here's the other pair of mine dispensers. Yeah, you're not going to be able to get up there, that's fine. Affirmative. You're definitely- you should, this mech is pretty accurate with this uh, Ultra 5, so... I'm going to go with a single shot out this way because we have a bad chance to hit. Target confirmed. Ah, no big deal. Damn it. Ah, just fire suppression, yep, that's all it is. Okay, we got a mine dispenser 15 here too, so we got three more mine dispensers. Double time. Let's go. Yeah, we'll hold off. All right, interesting to see how much damage this, uh, well, it depends on how far this um, hunchback moves. That's the thorn. Running away. Fire suppression, man. So he moved about three or four hexes, and wow, okay, he's in range. He is in range. Why do his legs only have 47 armor? Okay. Waiting for orders. That's like one less thing I gotta worry about then. We can pull his legs without having to worry about uh Yeah, let's just fire this guy. Engaging with target. We can pull his legs without even having to worry about um him seeing us. We're just, I'm just going to move out of the way now. Good luck with that. <laughs> Standing by. Uh, 18 from 20. It's beautiful. Got it. One thing about the Hunchback 2C though is I believe it does run fairly hot, so let's just uh, heat him up a little more. Well, I missed, but no big deal. Applying a little bit of damage. Thanks for showing up to the fight, buddy. Thanks for showing up to the fight. Order. Roll to that. So this guy's got more internal structure on his legs than he does armor. Shit, did not mean to do that. No big deal. I want to hit him with a few anyway. I hear you. On my way. Okay, where is the There you are. Let's go with Inferno and let's go against Yonder Hunchback. Got it. Okay, standing in fire. Order, Skipper. It will probably be out next turn, but he is standing in fire. You got it. So the trick with this. I'm listening. And I'm sure you got, I mean, it's pretty simple with the, Sounds with the, good. uh, I'm moving. the mine playthrough. And when you're, especially you and you're using light mechs, you just avoid you know, you, you just avoid, um, getting into any kind of direct line of confrontation as for as long as you possibly can. Um, Fire the bandit. Locked in on the target. That's all it is. You just expose to because those um, mine dispensers you have to have a direct line of sight to use. So, yeah, that guy's just about done. Um, What's up, boss? So you just expose for that brief moment. So this guy, how you looking? We've penned the armor now. Um, 
Yeah, so you're supposed to... You're supposed to let out your mind as dispensers, and then you pop back behind cover. Right? Just to minimize the amount of damage you take. Yeah, that guy's... Yeah, he's stripped. Okay. So I also find, too, it really depends, like... Ah, uh, shit. That guy's got an LRM-20, so we've got plenty of defense against him. Let's move over here. Gonna get in the trees. When you're playing light mechs like this, you just gotta use the trees as much as you can. I'm gonna warlord this out. Front load some damage on him. Firing. It's pretty simple. Like you want all you want your mines to do all the heavy lifting. We're gonna hold on to the two mine dispensers. I got a feeling that there's gonna be more mechs coming after this. Double time. And that guy did not come back, so double that up and done. Yep. I mean these guys really shine in base defense. Looking out. That's what this lance is really designed for, ten turns of base defense. Roger that. No luck. I haven't been able to determine if there's a saturation point where the mechs, enemy mechs won't move. Receiving you. Okay, I can't get a, uh... Moving to could position. take an HE shot at that thorn, though. Because why Target not? On enemy six. There's enough fire over there already, so... Might as well take a pot shot at that guy. If I was to use the HE here, it would just clear the minefield. So if you don't know that. It's one of the reasons why the Clint has got limited uses. We, we, we loaded it with that snub nose thumper. Yes, Commander. The one that's got a 540 meter range. And I've had it through a few missions and it's actually worked out quite well. Confirmed. Um, in a direct fire roll when you don't have like the mechs all clumped up. Okay, so let's go after this guy. Yeah, let's go this route. Keep applying damage. And I, one thing I did notice, although it doesn't, no, it doesn't, I'm not sure if it's actually applied here. Yeah, there's a little bit of damage. I'm noticing that the hovercraft take a lot less damage from minefields, which makes sense because they're technically over top of the mines. They're not actually stepping on them or, or triggering most of them. So I kind of like I kind of like that where there's like there's some units that are kind of immune to uh, certain things. Let's get into here. Confirmed. I want to see if I can pull these guys this in this direction back to the minefield here. So, uh, we don't need to use the Warlord firing. The shot. What can I do for you? Okay, you got the ER medium. Not the best place to be because we're because of the stability issue. But we're going to take it anyway. There's plenty of us going on this guy, so... Uh, do I want to use my rockets right now? How is this guy doing? Yeah, he's still got lots of armor, so let's just hold off. If we can't get a kill, there's no point in using him right away. Right, Commander. Uh, yep. I don't mind using the rockets if we can get a clutch kill, but if there's no clutch Roger kill, that, Commander. it's like, you know, I don't want to waste 35 rockets and then not get in anything for it, really. Slug, I think. Let's go with slug. Firing. Ah. Wow. Stand still, moron. Ready for orders. How about you aim? Oh shit, they're pretty darn close to getting to us. I'm going. I'm hoping they do take that walk to the minefield, though. Uh, do I want to put a mine dispenser down? No, I don't think so. Okay, who's up? Um, yes, Commander. Lifeboat. Location confirmed. Uh, yeah, more fast scan. Affirmative. We haven't quite taken half of his armor yet. Receiving you. Um. Hmm.
go here. Gonna go with Inferno. Can always do this too. A little late, but why not? Sensors locked on. Ah, no, no evasion change. I didn't know if you. Well, it was evasion change, but we actually hit him with a better chance now. Engaging. Nice. Excellent. Well, you're getting there. That guy's gone. Moved just that little bit too far. Good to go. Gonna save my last little bit of thunder. We're gonna switch up our ammo and we're gonna go after this guy. Um, gonna go with some tandem. We're at a point now where I think it's going to actually have a half decent effect. Firing on top. Reporting. Vehicle destroyed. Excellent. It just seems, I don't know about 10, like, if you got to... The way, at least what I found, and I could be completely wrong here, but what I found with tandem ammo is if you use it on a fresh target, if you've got lots of tandem, then yeah, go ahead, use it on a fresh target. But I've, I've found that um, if you've got, like, up, not a large loadout of tandem, um, I found out. softening the target first and then hitting it with tandem tends to actually do a better job. And I don't know whether it's because the crew ejects um, faster. Actually, I want to hang out of that, Warlord, because I want to target the... Uh, the um, hunchback's leg if he doesn't uh, go down this turn. But yeah, I find that it's just that little bit extra that, you know, oh, he's, fuck, 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 fuck. Reporting, structural damage. He lost the medium laser. That wasn't enough mines, eh? I have no idea what's going on over there. Commander. Just fire at him. God damn it. Minimal damage, Commander. Ready for orders. See if we can heat this guy up. So, oh, we barely did anything to his legs. Engaging. Well, he's hot now. Reporting critical hit. Standing by. I'm moving out. Oh shit. So, Star League era manufacturing facility. Still reading enemy contacts, Commander. You need to secure the area before you can proceed. Really? Let me get right on that. Alright, going after this guy's leg. Let's warlord it. OP. Leg. Okay, we've got one on. Nothing there. Maybe one maybe one of those uh mortar rounds. We should get a knockdown here. What are your orders, Skipper? It's a good thing I only lost that medium laser. Well yeah, this guy should knock him down. I can't hit him from here? That's weird. I got you. We're gonna knock down with the Hollander. Gonna cluster him. Gonna hit him with this too. I'm just gonna straight up shoot it. Do we miss? We missed with the Ultra, or the uh, LBX. Commander? You missed him with the LBX. Right, Commander. That guy took a hit. In the leg. Probably the best place you could have hit this guy. I'm going everything on him, though. We gotta try and get, for, get him for a knockdown here. Um... Inferno? Yeah. Tell me what to shoot. Dead. 
take his leg? We did not. There's a knockdown. Call out a short range missiles, Commander. Yeah, it was kind of difficult to read this terrain. I thought it was a lot hillier than it was, but that's my bad. Waiting for orders. I deserved what I got. Wow, you can actually see him from here, but the whole the uh, other guy couldn't. Sure. Got it. I'll take that. All right. Uh, one point left there. Four points left there. Let's go after that. And let's go with airburst because hopefully we hit the other leg too. Probably. Got one. One. Solid connection on that one. Ready for orders. You're the one that lost your laser. All right, let's just get up here. Aye, aye. I can't use your uh, auto cannon on that guy's leg because uh, you'll kill him. So let's warlord it and we'll go after the thorn. Commander? What do you got? We got a medium laser. Get up Going as far as you can get here. I wonder if I should just use an MRM-10. We shouldn't blow anything else up if I just go this route. Hopefully we hit with at least one here. Target. There it is. Okay. Farewell, sweet friend. Commander. Got it. Alright, time to switch it up. Where's our acid? Drop it on this guy. Start amplifying some damage. I generally don't use the acid right away. I've only got a limited amount of it. Ooh, we've only got uh, one LRM up, eh? We got a jam on the LRM. That's like the first time I've had that in a long time. All right, let's just use. Can we actually sensor lock this guy? Sensors locked on. Sure can. Drop some tandem on him. Why not? Okay, the other one's unjammed. Nice. Takes damage from standing in fire. Is he, is, guess he's not moving? I guess not. Fire away, buddy. We got enough AMS now. Only limited number of turns on it, but we've got the AMS. Inferno, firing. Firing. Keep him standing in fire. And firing. Target acquired. Ooh, very limited amount of damage there. Tell me what you need. Get into here. Can you get her to activate the base? She's pretty damn fast. Um, yeah. Affirmative. Almost had enough through armor from the tandems to kill that thing. Oh, we got tandems right here. Moving to position. Let's save the mortar ammo and just fire the rockets. There we go. Wasn't sure if that was going to work, but... Enemy vehicle destroyed. I'll take it. I'm out of SRMs. That's all right. That's all right. Got it. Get up here, get some more stability back. Nice. This thing, both this one and the other uh, urban mech that I just put together is suffering suffering from accuracy issues. So I'm gonna have to work on that. It's also partially because the I think. The pilots. Standing by. Is it the both pilots? No, I think it's just the one. Wait, that's the left arm. So turn the right side. Um, I think it's just the one pilot. The new pilot's got issues because they don't have 20 levels of uh, of piloting the um, urban mech. Target's taking a critical hit. 
I really hope they get another lance here. I really hope they get another lance. I hate when it's always so iffy, right? Solid connection on that one. You never know if there's gonna be like more guys or less guys or what. This guy's been doing terrible with this uh, LBX today. Fire cluster. Nice. He's a stick. Yeah, he had enough. They will be done. All right, Nickel, get up here. Full throttle. All right, we're gonna brace everybody else up back here. Commander. Actually, let's move you. Wow, the other one's jammed now. Actually, just brace you. I think you've got a better chance to unjam if you, if you're bracing. I did not mean to reserve. Waiting for orders. Good to go. Affirmative. Okay, now is this going to be enough? Affirmative. Moving to position. Let's just move everybody forward. I really hope they don't get reinforcements, but I got a feeling they will. Uh, and I don't, I don't know where they're going to come from. Let's get an AMS up there. Let's put you in here. Move order received. Um, put you in here. Affirmative, Commander. Put the other mortar on this side. Full speed on up here way. if we can. Is that going to be it? Heads up, nope. Commander. You've got nice. Contacts inbound. Excellent, but from where? Normally they show up on this side. Good to go. Um. There they are. Okay. All right, I was right. And hopefully it's just a one lance. So we got Solaire, Svantovit, Medusa. I've been seeing more of them lately too. Pegasus 2C, and a Falcon. Now that guy. I've encountered Falcons before with PPCs, so... So there. Svantovit, Medusa. Um... Come on, escape. How do I get out of the attack? Um... What? Why can I not escape out of this? It will not let me escape back to reserve. Um... Did I move? I must have moved. Why did I even... Oh man, okay, whatever. Um, nope. Yep. Firing. Firing the flare where these two are kind of grouped up, because if I hit... Oh yeah, it'll hit multiples. Okay. Yeah, I must have moved. I was just going to turn it back and... and um, I was going to turn it back and uh, reserve, because we don't have a good chance to hit. You can't reserve, because Confirmed. you're standing where everybody can see you. So we're going to get down over here. Um, and we might as well fire the mortar off on this guy. We're about to do a little bit of damage. Now those launchers, I have no idea what they yes, are. Commander. Now we can't have you with your back to the enemy. So let's get you... Let's move back to the enemy. Into here. Got the AMS moved up. This should drop at least one of these. I've got a sensor lock. Evasion unchanged. I guess he, I guess technically it's not evasion, it's just spawn immunity, so... Um... Sure. Copy that. Yeah, I guess it's just spawn immunity. Yes, Commander. Okay. Um... 
Get you over here. All right, we got a shot to Pegasus. That's actually, well, we've only got 20 tandems left, though. LK, not too bad. 20 on this guy. Twenty-five on this guy, though. Those are a lot of ATM threes. Do we have? Uh, we do have thunder. How much armor does this guy have in his legs? A fair bit. You know what? Let's use the thunder up and drop it on this guy. Well, we got a head hit on him. No LRMs remaining. Ready to rock. I see that you've got no LRMs remaining. Can we get in front of the LRM boat? We can, but we cannot shoot that guy. I'm kind of shocked that the uh, Hollander is having issues targeting. Uh, Urban mechs seem to be able to fire at targets that are a little higher. I'm gonna fire some cluster at this guy. I'm on him. Nothing. Um, that didn't hit. Which is weird because the Hollander has a high mounted AC, right? And it is technically taller than the Urban Mech, so it should be able to fire. Like over here when we were going to try and fire at the Hunchback, but we couldn't, but the Urban Mech could. Maybe it has to do with the pilot? I don't know. Because our pilot in the Hollander hasn't had like 20 missions or whatever, but almost all of our Urban Mech pilots have had 20 missions or more in Urban Mech. Which giving is giving us bonus to hit with the uh, right arm weapons, which is kind of nice. I think it's like a plus two bonus or something with the right arm weapons. Yeah, you run, you run right through the minefield too. Commander, uh, we need to keep your right side to the enemy. Ooh, you know what we got? Oh yeah, I, I keep forgetting. I don't have to really worry about. Let's go like that. Heading out. Because we have a 360 degree rotation, so I don't have to worry too much about uh, how we're rotated. I'm just gonna leave the warlord off for now. They both hit. We got one more 15 hanging around here somewhere too. That's all right. That's a nice. That's a nice thick minefield right there. Looks like an angel. It's a snow angel. It's a mine angel. Ah, uh, comes that Falcon. Alright, maybe he doesn't have a PPC. I live to or serve. maybe he does and he's just lulling me into a false sense of security, which is probably most likely the case. Um, yeah, because you got the 15 Onward. my dispenser, so we want to use that now before that Medusa moves. Get it all in the same spot. The Solera will have to run through the minefield too. And we'll fire the amp improved ammo. We only have improved, right? We've got tandem as well. <gasps> oh, I forgot I put tandem on here. Well, we know what the Pegasus is getting. Okay, so there's three minefield 15s and an LRM 40 of mines. And I, we've got a uh, mortar with fast cam still two to go. Make sure we're facing the guy, the Falcon. Because I think he's got a PPC, and if he does, then he can spread that damage. Should I go... If I go Acid, then the mines might do more damage. But I think I want to lay more mines while we can. We've only got two more turns of minefield on this thing. Nice. So, that's three... Mine Dispenser 15s, an LRM 40, and a Mortar 8. So I'm interested to see when this uh, Medusa moves, how much damage it's going to take to its legs. It's taken a little already. Okay, he's moved through the whole minefield now. Well, that's when you bring. That's what happens when you bring ATMs to an AMS fight. Down to 31, 
20, 25. Okay, I mean, marginal damage. Marginal damage. Receiving you. It's all random, so it's like... Sometimes it'll be good, sometimes it won't. Can we go direct? We cannot. It's too far away. Yeah, he's got a snub PPC. Okay. Taking the shot. Miss. No joy. Maybe I should have tried to heat him up. I don't know. He's not generating too much heat with the snub PPC. I think it's only 30 heat or something. But that's going to be a nice grab if we can get it. I picked up a clan ER PPC. I think it weighs the same as a snub nose. So, I don't know. But who do we want to go after here? Probably you. It's only 11% though. Let's just shoot you. I'm holding off shooting that Medusa. I mean, I could have shot the Medusa, but I really want to start targeting its legs now. I'd like to get those ATMs if I could. I mean, ATM3s are eh. But there's often times where I'm finding like I've got a couple of extra s tons of space. So maybe dropping an ATM might be a good idea. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I think it's better just to drop put a pulse laser. Well, no, because ATMs are cooler. I just thought about thinking about heat. Because I think an ATM-3 is like one and a half tons. And then a ton of ammo. Well, good luck with that guy. Yeah, see, he took a, like... I don't know how much damage that guy took. Hella damage is what he took. Let's get over here. Mm, I want to face that guy a little more. To give him more area to shoot for so he doesn't blow one of my arms off. I've got a large laser to replace the large lasers on my arms, but... I don't want to have to do that if I don't have to. So, better uh, starting off with the weak one. I'll do what you ask. Okay. Good to go. Manger le boeuf. Let's get into here. On the move. Yeah, you barely even got a good chance to hit. We're going to put a flare up on the... A flare on this guy help out a little bit. Okay, a little bit. Helping out a little bit. Don't shoot our guy in the back Roger now. That. Please, just don't. I know you're accurate as hell. You're better than shooting our own guy. In the well, 61% is not bad. So let's try an OP here. Take it down to 29. That's not bad. Nope. Nope. I got a feeling we're going to end up blowing this guy up. I am going to drop another minefield here, though, with the fast game that we have left. Oh, he's jumping. Making himself on. Oh, he fell over. He fell over. Wow, did anything get through? Armor breach. Internal damage. Yeah, something got through. Yeah, your leg is already hit though. Waiting for orders. Did he hit your back armor? He couldn't have hit your back armor because you're facing the other way. Wait. Right? So we want to turn the left side, right? Somebody help me out here, left side, right? Affirmative. Let's not shoot our own guy in the back. We can shoot over with this thing though. Wish I had acid, damn it. Alright, well. Fire fine. Target. Fine, Go fine. Ten four. What's this vehicle got? A bunch of stuffs. What's the chance on the Medusa here? The same. Let's go after the leg again. Nothing. 
All right. Well. Ready for orders. Coordinates received. Actually, let's not do that. No, let's do that. Because he's already gone. I oh, didn't get any evasion off that anyway. All right. No big deal. Supply the rest of our mines. I've got no ammo and multiple weapons. That's all right. Okay, let's go here. He's already been locked, so we don't have to worry about that. OP on you here. Let's hope the clustering works. Looks like it did. Reporting critical hit. Okay, he's unsteady now. Waiting for orders. You still got full armor? Get into here. Rolling. Pretty much full armor. You're pretty accurate with these MRMs, although we don't have a lot of them, so Fire can't really do too much damage. Okay, looks like a couple more leg hits. He's panicking. We're gonna drop a uh, you. Inferno on him too. He's already hot. This hopefully will scare the shit out of him and get, maybe get him to bail out. Confirm. Come on, hit. Alright, not bad. A little bit of damage, a little bit of instability. We'll take it. Best we can. Yeah, you keep running around that way. You go on that flank attack by yourself. Yes, Commander. Okay, can we get you into direct line of sight? We can. There's the solid line we're looking for right there. That's the solid line right there. 54, all right. Not much of a chance to hit this leg, but... Okay, a bunch of them hit. There's the knockdown. Now he jumped already this turn, so that means he's used up his turn, which means we got a free turn, turn against him next turn. We should be able to pull those legs off like a chicken. And then um, the vehicle should go down. Yeah, I wonder how much damage that vehicle took. It messes out of ammo. That's actually a fair bit. Didn't think it would take that much. It is a... Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a hovercraft. Come on, drive through the minefield. It messes out of ammo. What a time to run out of ammo. Okay, we should be able to do a lot of damage to these guys now. Do I? Let's get their attention instead. You've got some good damage, so let's go after this leg. Target confirmed. Not bad. Fuck. Reporting a critical strike. Yeah, but that's not what I wanted. Missiles are out. Let's go after you. Switch this up to. Ah. Let's start with Flare. Confirmed. Damage is getting spread around everywhere when I do that, so... Good to go. I gotta be careful. Moving to position. Gotta be careful. So we got Flare on that guy already. Going after him. Put you on. I guess we try guided on this guy. It should spill over onto the uh, Medusa as well. Yeah, a little bit. Skipper. Okay, this I'm will rolling. probably be a kill shot against the uh, Svantovids here. Oh, I got you. Yeah, that should do it, right? Yeah, gone. 
Frag the vehicle. All right, now we've got. What do you need? Monsieur Boat de Life. And we're going to switch you for acid. Going to go after this guy. Yes. Get some increased damage on him. Good damage. This guy keeps getting, like, spillover damage too, right? Who's up? Is it the Medusa or is it this guy? Did the Falcon go already? No, he didn't. Here he comes. He's come to check out the minefield. Yes, Commander. He's gone for the flanking maneuver. All right, let's apply some damage to this guy. Might as well get the sensor lock if we can. Got a lock. Yep, beautiful. A little bit at wow, that really increased the chance to hit. Nice. This should do it. Yep. Vehicle fragged. Excellent. I've got now. No ammo in multiple weapons. All right, you don't need ammo anymore. You don't need the ammo no mo. Um, 36 left in that, 29 left in that. Let's go after this leg. Got it. Fingers crossed. Well, whatever. Tango down. I just don't have the pinpoint in this unit. Yes, Commander. I mean, we've got a little bit of pinpoint, but not a lot. So wait, you got to have your right side like that. In case that guy comes over the hill. What do we got left here? Standing by. Alright, Skippy, let that guy know we know Confirmed. where we know where he is. Locking on target. Don't want to use the HE there because if I miss too much, then um, Moving out. we might delete some of these mines and I want if he's gonna run that way and he runs into the mines, I would rather have as many there as there possible. Engaging target. Nice. Okay, who's up? I'm listening. All right, turn around, turn around. I'm Let me go back here. It's harder for me to hit, but it's also harder for him to hit. So I'm okay with that. Confirm. She's actually got pretty good chances to hit overall with these lasers too. So. Commander. Caravella M20s, let's get them into here. Let's just drop them on them. Ready to rock. This uh, mission worked out really well. I was kind of worried because I, I didn't know if there were going to be turrets or whatever. Turrets could have been bad for us. Yeah, see, why... Why would she be able to shoot from here, but this guy can't? I don't understand that. Holding. See? Oh, it's a different... Oh, I was here and not here. Okay. Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Not there. Go where I click, please. On my way. Go where I click, please. Affirmative. Yeah, these clan uh, mortar sixes aren't bad, but we Ready do need to get some fast cam for them. I'm having a hard time getting Moving stuff out. in the store for these, um, for these mechs and stuff, so... Let's fire the rest of the flare. Target acquired. A little bit of illumination, not much. Ammo depleted. Yeah. Alright, last bit of mortar here. Let's drop some acid on him. Locked on. Starting to tear through that torso, though. Okay, a couple direct hits. That's nice. What do we got left? Holy crap, we got a lot of guys. Uh, full sprint. 
And get over to here. Confirmed. And what else do we got? Commander. Karak, you don't need to move, just drop some stuff on him. Copy that. Come on, buddy, just give it up. That hit something good. Bail out so I can go home. So, I don't know, maybe we pick up the Ultra 20. Well, it might be nice to have an Irby with an Ultra 20 on it. Ooh, into the minefield. It said 26 26, so he must have taken 26 in the legs. I can't tell. Waiting for orders. Let's drop some more fire in his ass. Might as well increase our chance to hit marginally by what? 2 or 3%? Well. Fuck it. I don't know why I say anything. I think I hit something good. Especially if I hadn't have done that, I would have missed them. <laughs> Whatever. Tell me what you need. I need you just to finish this guy off if you could. I'll make it happen. He's unstable. Uh, Warlord. Offensive push on this guy. Let's go after this leg and fire. I'm on it. Oof. Terrible. Terrible. Commander? You're not okay from there, but you are from there, so we'll move up one. Just gonna finish this guy off. If we get the snub nose, we get it. If we don't, we don't. I think it's on his right side anyway, so if we destroy his left side and he goes down, then bonus. Okay, Mr. Lemon. Can you see this guy? You can. Aye, aye, Skipper. Full speed. No target. A nice solid shot here, too. Here we go. Yeah, see, I said I wanted to take the left side, and everybody's shooting right now. Yes, Commander. There we go. Roger that. Shoot the left side. You can't miss the left side from here. Standard ammo. Firing. Ooh, large laser hit. Destroyed the leg. Torso, arm. So left side's gone. Not running XL. Oh, I guess... Did he bail out or did he just... Did he die from wounds? Alright, there it is. Mission successful. Alright, so not bad. Made a couple hundred thousand off that. Let's have a quick look here in salvage. So, we did lose a medium laser here. Not on you. Is on you. Yeah, just a regular medium laser. So that's all we lost in this match. That's nice. Yeah, keeping it to a minimum. That's awesome. Yeah, so our pilots haven't been gaining a lot of experience because, I've, like I said, I've been doing half skull, one skull missions. So getting like 250, 500 XP. It's pretty bad. Um, hopefully we get some bandit parts. I wouldn't mind getting a bandit. But we're not taking any of these mech parts because they're not urban mechs. No, ATM-3, how much does this thing weigh? One and a half tons, like I said. Bonus accuracy. So it does weigh more than a medium pulse laser, but it only does six heat. LRM-20s. Do I have any? I don't have any backups. There's the snub nose PPC, so we're going to take that. There's the ultra-20s. I'm gonna grab one. Actually, I should probably just go down and see if there's like a double loaded of ammo down here. There it is, two doubles. Grab those. And then, like, we got clan um, double heatsink kits. I don't have double heatsinks, so that's the problem. I only got three of them. We got four double heatsinks here. Ooh, XL gyro. I want that because I'm missing a gyro on one of my urban mechs. So that's a pretty damn good haul. Hopefully we get some of these, but we got a lot of sea bills, so I'm not worried about that. I got three and a half months of uh, sea bills saved up here. So hopefully we get one of those, but I'm really happy with this this uh, this grab here. All right, bandit part, two falcon parts, two kit fox parts, solar, spent a bit. Oh, we got the LRM 20s and an LRM 5. That's kind of a bonus. 120 core can go. That can go. 
that can go. I can lose the hand, so never going to need those. All our ammo we got. So we didn't make a lot of money off this, but uh, definitely got a lot of good stuff off this one. All right, guys, I have run out of time to record this episode. My kid's going to bed, so I got to stay quiet. Um, but uh, I was going to take you take you through the uh, mech loadouts, but if you uh, if you're interested in seeing how they're loaded out, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll spend a little time at the end of the next episode when I when I play these guys, and I'll take you through how they're loaded out. Um, but we do have seven urban mechs now. I want to get one more, like I said, and then we'll shift this guy back, put the urban mech in there, and we'll have these two as backups, uh, unless we can find something else. But I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.